Hey, how's it going, everybody? Happy St. Patty's Day, and it is Sunday, March 17, 2024. Free play coming up in the Big Ten title clash in just a moment. We'll get to that. Last night, switched gears from having a bunch of high-end or elite-level college basketball plays over the last week plus. Uh, we had a top play in the NBA yesterday instead, and that cashed too, just like those college basketball top plays had. Had a six-star last night with the Golden State Warriors that got us the money over the Lakers. And uh, we've got a big play going on Sunday. Going to tell you about that in just a moment. I did lose, though, yesterday in college basketball, and uh, we'll look to bounce back here. But it's been a great run going back to Feb 26. Uh, we are 61% in college baskets, up over $5,400. My top play run in college basketball, which are plays rated five stars and higher, 11-1 and one the last 12 after cashing on Saturday night and 63 and 34 with my last 97. Uh, no big play for me on today's card. In fact, my only college basketball play is the one that I'm about to release here between Wisconsin and Illinois. But again, NBA, I've got a seven unit main event. We look to extend the top play run to seven and zero with my last seven overall to 180 and 122. Going into Sunday now, we're 179 and 122 and up over 23,000 bucks. Uh, top play run the last six. We've won them all six and oh. So we'll look to continue that winning streak and basket or NBA, I should say. Uh, if we win on Sunday, we'll be 48 and 26 with my last 74 top plays in the NBA. So uh, let's look to continue the hot streak with a seven star play in Sunday's NBA. I've also got NHL and I've also got NASCAR, my matchup mismatch of the week this week. Of course, on the Bristol concrete, racing on the concrete of Bristol today. And uh, we'll look to make it four straight. NASCAR winners, uh, including that great run we've been on 103 and 66 now since bringing my NASCAR to Doc Sports. All right, let's get to the free play, which is the Big Ten Clash on Sunday's card. Illinois, three point favorite in just about every book on my line service over Wisconsin. There's like one or two, two and a half, but you know, again, 97, 98% of the books have three as of what time is it? About 4 15 a.m. Eastern time on Sunday morning. So, anyway, as far as this game is concerned, it's really been a tale of three seasons for the Badgers. I mean, they had the 16-4 and four start to the season. Then, of course, they had that uh, run there, that stretch, where they only won three out of 11 games. It kind of all started going downhill when they blew that double-digit lead against Nebraska. They lost the game and, uh, again, won three out of 11. That was it. That culminated with the regular season finale loss to Purdue, where they didn't play badly, but they still lost – by eight points. And uh, things weren't looking too great for Wisconsin. We all got to admit that when they were going into the conference tourney, uh, but they've won three games in three days since the tourney started. They've gotten hot. They're playing up to their potential again, as they were earlier in the season. And of course, beat Purdue in overtime yesterday. Now, Illinois, man, they looked all but buried against the Huskers yesterday. They trailed 51 to 40 at halftime. They trailed by as many as 15 points. And then Ter Terrence Shannon just said, enough is enough. The guy tore it up. He scored 40 on Nebraska. He's had back-to-back -back huge games in the tournament. And what I like about him also is he's driving his defender inside, and he's forcing these guys to foul him. And he's he's been to the free throw line. I'm looking at the box right now. 27 times in the two conference tournament games, 27 free throw attempts uh, for Terrence Shannon. So he's driving. He's getting guys to commit fouls. He's making shots. And he scored 28 against the uh, Buckeyes in game one and 40 against uh, Nebraska in yesterday's game. So I think he's going to be a little bit too much talking about Terrence Shannon. I think he's going to put this team on his shoulders once again, and they'll end up getting the win and the cover over Wisconsin on Sunday. Once again, uh, the free play is Illinois over Wisconsin, Illinois lay in three. And uh, again, star of the show for me, seven star main event in the NBA. Uh, we'll look to take that elite level play run to seven and zero. Oh with my last seven. All right. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the wind column, everybody.